This particular fly is a really easy sedge pattern. It looks fuzzy and a bit complicated, however, um, it's not a difficult tie whatsoever. Really, really quite easy. Um, a few key components that you need and you're pretty much good to go. But yeah, don't be put off by the look. It's not complicated, it's a simple tie. And one that's very effective both on the rivers, um, but also in still water, some of the bigger locks especially limestone locks. Uh, some of the locks are fished up in the Scottish borders, phenomenal, over an island, very good. But yeah, works really, really well. Late at night, uh, just as they're coming up to the surface, I fish this sedge pupa. But it also works as a granum, just scale the size down a little bit. So let's go ahead and tie it. <clears throat> I've got here a check name hook size 10, obviously 12s, 14s, 16 sometimes for granum, but this is just a little bit bigger for the purposes of the fly tying video. <coughs> so, put the hooking device, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this really, really, that's the wrong colour actually Stephen, let me get the right colour guys, I should be using floss for this, so I've got this floss, and it's your glow bright colour. This one is your Viva colour. Now this is actually for one of my old pals, Steve Parton, who's sadly no longer with us. But this is like similar to, uh, I forget the glow bright number, somebody will keep me right in it. But this is my underbody. And I start by putting a couple of wraps behind the eye of the fly and then just trimming off. And the key to this fly is this stuff, liquid lace or larva lace or tubing. Um, and this is like a clear, clear kind of olivey colour. And it's really stretchy, this stuff's really stretchy. So you can stretch it and make it smooth or you can keep its bulk and it's very good for segmentation. So just gotta come in with some rocking looking at wraps, keep that under tension and just wind down the hook shank. Like so, keeping tension, that's probably enough there. And then just come back, make sure you're covering up any spaces. You're basically creating a an underbody. And about opposite the point there, I'm going to stick in a whip finish because that's going to be my thorax area. And my scissors. In fact, let's just park that there. I could put the thread back on, but we'll park it. I'm just going to turn my vise slightly. And I'm going to come up. I've got no tension in this, it's loose. And I want it loose because I want that segmentation. If that makes sense. Bring it up. I'm not, it's not a touch and turn, but it's not far away from a touch and turn, if that makes sense. Kind of like rubbing up a, a buzzer. So I'll place this back and lock it in place. Place the vice back, lock it back in place. And then just a lock and wrap over the larva lace, liquid lace. I'm going to come down. Should have really kept that under a bit of tension. But this this area's got to get tidied up anyway. And just trim that off there. Tidy up, keep it even. Like I say, this area, this whole area, is going to be tidied up. Then with your scissors and snip that off. So the key to this fly. There's nothing more complicated than a pen. That's it. Now this colour's burnt umber. It's a brown. Um, a really dark coffee brown. And all we're going to do is come up, over, see that? And then we've got to do the same down the sides. But what we want to do is leave some of that green underneath. So you've got that segmented effect for the sedge.
We now come in with some black tine thread. Coming down to where the last segment is. Just pull that off there. All the way over, run it over. And then I've got nothing more complicated than an olive, a dyed olive pheasant tail. And you want to take a generous bunch of this because this is going to be your thorax cover. Quite generous. Like that. So there's a lot there. And then we're going to catch that in. Didn't catch it in the other eye because you want to have some space to finish off. But just with your fingers, with your thumb and forefinger, spread it so it's over that whole thorax area. As you can see there, spread over nicely. And with your scissors and trim. And you'll see I've given myself a little bit of space at the head. So now the other crucial bit is this stuff. Good cock. And I want a small feather. So it's soft and it's really good for legs. But I don't want it too long. And that's the key. I only want a couple of turns really. So I'm just gonna, I'm just preparing a feather here. I'm just gonna prepare this so I can get it wound up. Make sure it's nice, neat, and even. And then I'm gonna take away one side. Like I say, I only want a couple of turns. So I've took away one side there. Gotta catch that in. And I'm only gonna get a couple of turns of this stuff. <coughs> Just trim away the, the fluff here. And now I'm going to go back with some stickle dub. It's a really spiky. A really spiky dubbing. Perfect for the <coughs> the set pupa's thorax, sorry. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cough. So coming up. And you want it quite bulky. Right on your thread. Now dig your thread in through the thorax because you're going to pull some of this out. Stopping at the head. Give yourself a little locking wrap there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my little feather when I find my hackle pliers and bring it up through do not worry about the feather and the way it's going because we've got, to, we've got to bring this through and we'll pull these legs back. One. Two. Am I going to get a third? Probably not. That's exactly what you didn't want to happen. It's wrapped around my thread. Take it away. If I can figure it out, which way do that's that's the way. So just pulling everything. You don't want a lot and just tie off. It looks scraggy. We've got to tidy this up, obviously. With my ears. And just snip that off there. Tidy this up a little bit. Give yourself some space. Let's see them sitting nice now. Sit better. This obviously pulling the, the fibers over helps massively. So we've got to pull this. Make sure all your feathers are, are, are stroked back. So it looks like legs, like so. Now a lot of sedges, you'll have the legs like about here. So basically coming down a little bit. 
I like them long, I like them exaggerated, like anything in fly tying. A little bit of exaggeration goes along, I've got a little feather stuck there. That's it. And then just pull everything up and over. This is why you want a lot of feather fibres, because you've got to, it's, I don't know what the word is, carapace, mm, who knows. But basically the, the, the flat, harder section of the, no harder section, but the section of the thorax. That's him there, looking good. <coughs> In with your scissors at an angle. Being careful not to cut the thread. We can tidy this up. And then we controlled thread wraps. We just gotta come in and tidy. Like so. Quite a big head on this. Sedge pupa at the end of the day. I think they've got a bulky head on them. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna pull some of these fibres away shortly with a, a whip finishing tool. So you can see I've got quite a big head because of the sedge pupa. We didn't want it small and neat. It's part of the tying. Coming up. And what I will do is I'll take a, a little bit of, I don't want to pull too much because that's a really delicate f uh, feather, but I just want to pull some of the Here's the uh, stickle dub out, like so. There you go, very sedgy. And then all I'm gonna do is come in and stick a little bit of varnish either side of the head, just to finish the fly off there. As you can see, really sedgy. And that's it, sedge pupa. Very simple sedge pupa. It works really well. This one obviously has got the segments just a little bit closer together. But I'd like to show you how to do this so you can see it. Um, really simple, brown pen and a little bit of larval lace. But that big head's big head. Um, it just really looks apart, this fly. And that's it. Simple fly, a sedge pattern. It works really, really well. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. There's plenty more fly tying and fishing videos on there. I'm sure you really enjoy it. Take care, folks, and bye-bye.